What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we have a very special Slipknot mask unboxing. Why is it a very special Slipknot mask unboxing? Well, as you can see by the title of this video and the thumbnail, we are doing a brand new Slipknot mask replica. And that brand new Slipknot mask replica is Michael Paff's new mask. Finally brought one home, even though finally only means that this thing is still only like two weeks old or whatever. But yes, we have a very nice replica here today and I am ready to take a look at it. So let's go ahead and get on into the package. This comes to us from Ian Six Effects. You guys need to go check him out over on Instagram because he recently lost access to his original Instagram and he is trying to build back better. And this video is going to help him do so. So his information will be down below. The kid is absolutely killing the game, especially for somebody as young as he is. The dude's just a teenager, and he's making cool shit like what you're about to see, and he's made quite a few other pieces that have ended up in my collection as well. Just go check the dude out. Like I said, I'll be dropping the information down below, and as soon as you see this mask, you're not going to need any more convincing from me. You're just going to go do it. So, are you ready? Here we go. Oh, and it came on a foam head already? I'm stoked. All right. I'm going to give you guys the first look at it like I usually do. Now I have seen photos of this on Instagram so it's not a super surprise by any means. And then I will turn it around for myself. Yeah, buddy, what a piece. Uh, I actually like this a lot more in person than what I did compared to the photos. Not to say that the photos were bad, but this thing just definitely looks way sicker in real life. Man. All around just really impressed with this thing so yeah what we have here is a replica of the new guys new mask aka Michael Path now that he is officially announced he is officially a part of Slipknot and everybody knows his identity once they came around and started pushing for the new record the end so far he got a new mask and it is a clear evolution of his original mask just slightly creepier now as much as I love Michael's new mask I gotta say it is a pretty uninspired mask. I mean, it is pretty much just a direct ripoff of the mask from the movie Smiley. That's just like a shitty B-movie horror film, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much just a direct ripoff. We've also seen versions of this mask on, like, Spirit Halloween websites, but regardless, even though it is pretty much just a copy-paste of that, it is a nice evolution from his original mask. It is very creepy, and I'd say that it's more on, like, the mushroom head side of things, whereas the original mask had that old school Slipknot feel where they pretty much just took a cast of Michael's face and turned it inside out and then gave it the Slipknot treatment with some zippers and rivets. Michael eventually cut some holes in the head for ventilation and then of course we had some sort of weird strap job because what is a Slipknot mask without a strange BDSM style strap job? So I've got to say that I do think that his original mask was far more Slipknot-esque. This one is a little more try hard and goes for the whole like mushroom head style horror movie style mask and it is what it is. Slipknot's at a different point in their career than they were when we originally had the masks that made us all fall in love with the band and I'm starting to accept that. With that being said, I think Paf's new mask looks great. I think that it fits the shtick. I think that it fits his character. He is definitely a creepy yet charismatic and almost funny stage presence so to see a mask that kind of reflects that is pretty cool and I've got to say that I do enjoy his new mask. I do like the new mask so I'm definitely happy to have a replica of it here in the collection. Now, the version that we have here is actually not the version from the music video for The Dying Song. What we have here is the live version, which would have come after The Dying Song, obviously. This is what we see him wearing during the live shows since that music video has debuted, and there are some slight changes from the music video. The biggest change is the neck. The neck has been cut for the live version. It was a lot longer in The Dying Song music video, but I knew that somebody already had The Dying Song version in their collection. So when Ian asked me which one I wanted, I wanted to go ahead and do the slightly different
different one. And obviously I will be getting the Dying Song version in my collection, but I just thought that this would be a little bit more interesting for anybody that already saw that version in my buddy New Jersey Mass Collectors collection. So with that being said, here we have it. This thing is absolutely wonderful. I think Ian definitely nailed this thing. He's got everything on here from the proper paint job. We've got accurate cuts and zippers and whatnot. And we've even got a detail that a lot of people seem to overlook. A lot of people think that these are stitches in the eyes, but they're actually not. This is something that has been carved or dremeled into the latex or maybe even sculpted into the mask. They are just open lines with mesh behind them. There are no actual stitches in the eyes of the mask. And something else that sets this apart from any other replicas is a fully accurate strap job. What we have here is some Velcro, very thick Velcro down at the bottom that has been not only riveted, but stitched into the mask. And then we also have kind of like the pleather, leather, lace, like I don't know what you would really call that. It's just like a lace fitting that you can kind of tie down and that would give him the proper fit as opposed to doing some sort of like fixed leather strap job. This has always been a staple of Michael Paff's masks is they have this on the back so that it can be worn on pretty much anyone's head at any different size and be worn comfortably but stuck on there to fit. So the strap job is definitely something that sets my replica apart from the other replicas that are out there. I've not seen any replicas that have as accurate of a strap job as this one has. And yeah, man, I think that Ian just absolutely killed this thing. So like I said at the beginning of the video, you guys are going to want to go check him out. The kid is just doing the damn thing. He's sportsing the ball, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I definitely welcome this thing into my collection. Now let's go ahead and let this piece speak for itself. As always, I'm going to end the video with some nice up close shots of it so that you guys can see all of the beautiful, beautiful detail. And that will be that for today's video. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up down below and maybe even a comment. Here, I'll make the comment part easy for you. Let me know down below which version of Michael's mask you prefer. Do you like his original mask with the smaller eyes or do you like this new, more sinister smiling mask from the in so far era. I put that in quotations because we're still not technically in the In So Far era. We won't be in that era until the album drops right now. We are still in the We Are Not Your Kind era. But regardless, let me know which of the masks you prefer. Do you like Mike's old mask or do you like Mike's new mask? Let me know down below in the comments. You guys obviously got my answer earlier in this video. I've got to go with the old one. I just feel like it has more of a slipknot feel. And with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get on to these detailed shots. So until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to Paf's new mask. And we will see you guys in the next one.